Hey everyone at the Cisco Learning Network, Anthony Sequera here with stormwindlive.com. And in this series of videos, we're going to take a look at the strategies that I would personally recommend you employ when you're taking the various question types in your CCNA exams. I'm talking about the ICND 1 exam, the ICND 2 exam, or if you're going to take that one exam option, the types of questions you're going to see in that. In this first part of a series of videos we'll do on these various question types, we're going to talk about everybody's favorite. That's right, it's the multiple choice type question. As a matter of fact, it's time for our video theme song. <clears throat> Multiple choice, multiple choice, we love our multiple choice. Multiple choice, multiple choice, we love our multiple choice. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Well, with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at some sample multiple choice, and I'll talk to you about my strategies for solving those. In order to do this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to examine some practice exam questions that I use in our actual live classes here at Stormwind Live. So let's jump in and take a look at one right now. And again, as I said, we want to just cover multiple choice in this particular video, as you can tell from our theme song. All right. So here we have a standard multiple choice, right? What approach is used for media access in the wireless LAN? The thing you've got to do with multiple choice in these exams, what you really want to be careful of, is you want to make sure you don't go too fast. You're going to be thinking of the other question types that take longer, so you're really going to want to buy yourself some time here, and that can really mess you up. Typically what happens is the student looks and kind of knee jerks. They look and they go, oh, CSM CD, that's right. They click on that particular response, and they move on. Please avoid this temptation. Slow down to speed up, as I call it. Go ahead and, and make sure you read. I read the question twice, and then I read all the responses at least once. What approach is used for media access in the wireless LAN? Aha, on my second read, I really key in on the fact that we're talking about the wireless LAN here. And sure enough, it's not the first option, CSMACD. It's actually Carrier Sense Multiple Access Collision Avoidance. I go ahead and I check that one in the exam, and I make sure that I read all of the rest before we before continuing. Even though I think I found the right answer now, I read all of the rest before I move on. Okay, so very, very key to do that. Now, the other type of multiple choice that we can get in our exams is the choose two or choose three or choose four. Cisco will tell you how many of the multiple choice options are correct. First tip on this one, is when you see these types of questions in your exam, instead of the circles like we have in our pretty graphics here, you're going to get check boxes. So visually, when you look over to the left of the possible responses, visually you immediately know that you're dealing with a multiple option, multiple choice question where some of these are gonna be correct. Now, what I do on these is, again, I'm reading the question twice and then reading them all, and I put a check into those that I think that are right, kind of to do like housekeeping on them. So let's go through this one. Which three statements about networks are accurate? Three of these are going to be accurate. Remote locations cannot connect to a main office through a network. Remote locations cannot connect to a main office through a network. No, of course they can. Ridiculous. So I'm not going to check that one. A main office can have hundreds or even thousands of people who depend on network access to do their jobs. Yeah, that sounds right. I put a checkbox in there. A network is a connected collection of devices that can communicate with each other. Sounds good to me. I'll put a checkbox in there for now. Let me make myself smaller. No, no, I'm shrinking. Let me get out of the way here. 
Let me try and get out of the way. Here we go. Oh, there we go. All right. A main office usually has one large network to connect users. I don't like that one, I don't think. A main office typically is going to have many different networks. We call them sub-networks. Let me not check that one. The purpose of a network is to create a means to provide workers with access to all information and components that are accessible by the network. We don't want everybody to be able to get to everything. That's my concern with that one. And then finally, networks are used to transmit data in various environments, including homes, small business, and large enterprises. I love it. Now, if I had chosen E, I can go and uncheck E and check the better response, F. Always remember on these multiple choice questions from Cisco, you're looking for the best possible response, folks. So some are going to be right, but they're not really the best possible response. So we got to be carefully going through all these options and finding those that are the best. From a test taking strategy, again, on these multiple, multiple choices, I call them, just realize these will be check boxes. Check them as you're going through them. You're kind of guessing at the right ones, putting check boxes in there, and then rearrange those that you checked correctly so before you submit. It doesn't matter how many you're going and checking. It only matters when you click that submit button. Notice I have here this kind of check your answers button for my live classroom training, but in your exam, there's going to be a submit and you can do whatever you want before clicking that submit button. Well, all right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me in this video where we looked at multiple choice, multiple choice. And in the next video, we'll go ahead and take a look at another question type and talk about it strategically as you prepare for and pass and become a CCNA. Thanks again, everybody.